Hello everyone, I'm Christy with Thrift Addict and welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're not, thank you for coming again and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I am a part-time seller on eBay and on Poshmark. I've been on eBay for about three years and Poshmark just since this last May. So coming up on a year right now. Um, I sell everything on eBay from hard goods to clothing and then of course I focus on mostly women's clothing on Poshmark. But I have uh, done a few kids items and men's items. I have another huge thrift haul to show you today and I'm going to go ahead and just jump into it because I've got a lot. If you didn't see my part one to the thrift haul, um, go check that video out. It has some really neat finds um, from like Tory Burch and everything else and this one is just as good if not better and um, I'm excited and you've probably seen the thumbnail so I might as well go ahead and show you right off the bat that I found these Rothy's. Now, I, I found them a few weeks ago and I haven't listed them yet because I wanted to test them out. They are almost my size, they're slightly big, but I wanted to see what all the fuss was about and I thought they're really cute and I love some zebra print, but they are closer to a size seven and a half you know, um, and fit, but, uh, they are authentic. I checked everything out. I even, I washed them and everything. Um, there is the inside. And so I saw that some were listed and sold around the hundred dollar mark. So, um, I think that these will do well because they are a good neutral, the gray and the zebra is fine. So that makes them kind of unique, but I am going to let them go. Oops. I am going to let them go. I'm not going to keep them. They were comfortable, but a little too big for me. I'd probably need to go down a size, but I just wanted to show those to you right off the bat. Um, I do have some random stuff I'm going to show you, and this is for eBay, and every once in a while I'll pick up some stuff like this, but this was at the Salvation Army, and it was only like a buck or two, um, and I scanned them, and I think I can sell this for around $15, and it's just a hay fever, like a nap can't see it very well like a natural hay fever reliever and then this is I think it might be expired color um but Al Sassoon and it hasn't been opened they actually had two of these but I got this one because it wasn't open the other one had been opened even though the contents were still there so I paid two dollars for this one and I think a dollar this one I don't see the price on it but I want to say it was a dollar oops so these will go on eBay and I think I can sell this for 15 and this maybe around 20 so that will be a easy little thing to take photographs and list um and pop up on eBay um I have some other shoes I'm going to show you <laughs> These are just a fun little, I know that these were very trendy at one point and I don't know if they still are. I do still see them um, with jeans that people wear with jeans on Pinterest. I see it all the time. So maybe somebody out there still hasn't worn this and wants them. These are Arturo Chiang. I, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. And I was struggling finding a size on these, but based off the fact that I wear a seven and um, these are slightly small, I would say that they're a six and a half. I'm going to still see if I can find it somewhere. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. I did pay six dollars for these and I did see comps were kind of all over the place. I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to list them at like 35 and then see how they do. You're probably going to hear kids and dogs and everything else because they're super active right now. Um, but um, we'll just keep rolling. These are really, really cute. And I think this brand is sold at Nordstrom's. I think it's pronounced Luis Etzia. Luis Etzia. Hmm. I could be wrong on that. But that's what it looks like. It's a brass tag and it also has it on the bottom. I paid $6 for these. And I did pay... Um, I say pay up. That's not really paying up for most people, I realize. But sometimes I can get shoes for like two and three bucks. So for me, that's paying up. And also the fact that it's not like a super uh, high-end brand to resell. It did, I think, cost a lot retail. Um, but I got them because of the animal print. I don't even know what animal print this might be. Maybe it's cheetah. But I liked the gray, and I think they're really cute. And I think they'll do well. So they're kind of just a little heel booty. So I'm hoping around 35 for these. And then I got these, not sure if I was going to sell them or keep them because I did really like them and I need some neutral colored ones I can wear for kind of spring, summer. 
Um, but after I realized that these Dolce Vita were actually ones that sold at Target, I decided I'm just going to keep them. I only paid $5, and I did see some listed for around $25, but um, they're six and a half, so they're a little small, but since they're slides, I can sometimes wear six and a half in sandals and slides and stuff like that. So I'll use them, and then, you know, later on, maybe I'll sell them, and then that would be worth my paying that price. Okay, I also have um, a lot of menswear this time, so I'm going back to like my roots, which what I mean by that is when I first started selling on eBay, I sold a lot of men's stuff like men's ties and men's clothing, and it does really well, and it's not as fun for me to thrift as it is women's, um, but it does sell really well, especially over on eBay. So I decided to kind of start looking in there a little bit more, and I grabbed some um, jackets I'm going to show you and some shirts and everything else. So I do want to show you that. Um, however, before I get to that, I want to show you all the athletic wear I found. So I've got a little stack here. And we're going to start with this piece. I'm going to set this down. This, I think, will do well. It is Athleta. A little um, Athleta skirt. Here, there we go. That's the back, and it's got the two-tiered. It kind of reminds me of the style of the Lululemon one that I've sold before. But this is a size medium, and there is the tag in there. And I did pay $5 for it, but I think I can get around $35 for this. It's in great shape, and it just has the little shorts underneath, so it's actually called a skirt. But I know that these were really popular, and I thought that one was cute. Sorry, my kids are really loud right now. This is um, a cute little Lululemon top, um, and I've sold a tank like this before with the mesh back, and I would say that this uh, might be around a six based off just looking at it, even though it doesn't have a size in it. The tag is gone, but there is the um, Lululemon logo, and it's this just kind of speckled print. Um, it's not exactly like the one I've sold before, but the other one that I sold like this, I've sold two different ones similar and they both sold for about $35 so I'm hoping to get that out of this one and I actually found this I took um, some of my dancers I'm a drill team coach so I took them to a contest um, this last weekend and I in between awards and performing we had like three hours so I was, took them to Goodwill and um, introduced them to how to thrift shop one already thrift shop so the other two are new to it and so I think one of them I've converted to becoming a thrift shop but they were over there looking at the active wear and I said did you find anything and they said no nothing so I said well I'm just gonna look so I went over there and this was inside out so I'll give them that that's why they didn't pick it up probably or realize what it was but I knew when I kind of saw the mesh and I felt it that it was Lululemon and I grabbed it and I go you didn't find anything huh because they know what Lululemon is and they like it a lot and they were like oh my gosh how did you find that so um yeah it was fun, and that was literally the only thing I took away from our thrift, uh, thrifting that day. It was super crowded, um, and it was a thrift shop in a really nice area in Dallas, and they, they found some things. We went to two of them, actually, a Goodwill and another local one. I found these the other day at my local Goodwill. We just popped in. I had my family with me, so I didn't go long, but I picked up this, and I think that they sell their active wear for like $3. This still has the tag in it. It was all curled up, but I thought, is that Lululemon? And I started pulling on it, and it was. It's a size 8, and it is a crop, which I know don't go for as much, but I'm going to look up the style name on this, and if I find it, I'll put it in the video, um, and we'll see. It's um, probably about a mid-rise, mid to high-rise maybe um so that might um have an effect on it and it is longer than some crops so i hope it will go for around 30 35 we'll see um now this pair i've sold one like this before and i did pay more for these i don't know if they're catching on at goodwill because they typically don't mark theirs up they're usually three bucks they mark these for five dollars so i'm not sure if they're catching on to this but i picked these up today again i had my family with me so i didn't get a lot but I think these are run the run free run for mm, now I can't remember. But they have that little ruffle down the side and they're a crop. Um, I've sold some solid black ones for twenty five dollars. I hope I can get a little more. I kind of just sold them quick and took the the twenty five, which maybe if I would have waited, I could have gotten more. I'm not sure. This is a size. This is a size 8 as well. Oh, good. So I have two pairs of 8s that I can list. Maybe somebody will bundle them. 
So I, that's the active wear I got. Like I said, the last haul, it, I kind of was all over the place, and this one is very similar because I have a lot to show you. So I'm going to go quickly. Sorry if I talk too fast, but this is an anthropology brand, which is called Moth, and I've sold one thing before, um, but I liked it. It was just a lightweight cardigan that I think is good for spring when it's still cold at night. People can throw this on, and it has um, kind of a layered look, so it's got the two pieces here and a snap. Um, this is a size small. I want to say this was like a wool blend, and so that interested me a lot, and that's one of the reasons I picked it up. Yeah, 32% wool. And then 33% alpaca, and then nylon, and then also linen. So I think that maybe this, sorry, I stole my husband's glasses. You know, you do what you can. You can't see. <laughs> so this right here, uh, I liked the, the blend of fabrics, and I, I know that that was one of the reasons I picked it up. Um, and I thought maybe it'll go for around $30. I think I paid $4 for it. It's not March, so I'm guessing around 4 This here is a Athleta cow neck like sweatshirt in a gray and it's got kind of a pop of color inside the pockets um here kind of a coral color but it's like a kangaroo pocket so it goes all the way through um so i thought that was kind of neat and a tie here at the top uh i've never sold one of these so i'm not sure here's how um wait is that I lied. It's not Athleta. It's Fabletics. I don't know why I said Athleta. I've never sold this brand, so I don't know how this will do. I, I would honestly like to keep it myself, but if it um, if it doesn't sell for a lot, um, that might be what happens. So if it doesn't get around twenty five or thirty, I'll probably keep it. I got that at Goodwill, so I probably paid three or four dollars for it. This is another cow neck piece, and I think I got this at my small thrift shop, so probably only paid two bucks for it. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have picked it up. It's Free People Beach, and I've seen other people um, have this in hauls before. But I do like kind of the, the back. It has like kind of a two-tone look and the cow neck and the um, reverse stitching, I think is what that's called. So I think great for spring and throwing on like if you're going to the beach. You can throw it on over a bathing suit or something when it's cold at night. Um, maybe around $25 for that. This here... I, um, oh, Pilcrow and the Letterpress. I do have a lot of pants I've picked up recently. I've got some listed now, and I have sold some before. But I know a denim jacket is, um, you know, a popular popular thing for the spring. I would say, let's see, it's a medium petite. So it is shorter, because um, I was thinking it was cropped, but it really is just a petite. So that's why. Um, but I think that this will do well. It has, like, distressing, which I kind of like. I think it's pretty cute and I like the color. So I'm hoping for around 30 on that. I also grabbed this at the local Salvation Army. I think I paid three bucks for this, um, two or three. It was hanging in the men's area, but it is Vince and it is a size large. Um, it's kind of an oversized look. The stock photo I found, she had it kind of like tucked up in the front and hanging down in the back and it was really cute. Maybe I'll put the stock photo up so you can see what that looks like. But just a cute, um, and it doesn't have buttons. It's just kind of a relaxed sleeve shirt. I, I liked it, and I, I think a lot of people like Vince, and that this will do well for the spring. This is a great find. I'm super excited about this. I found this the other day, and I've only found Johnny was a few times. Um, this one, it, probably by far the best one I've found. And it's just this beautiful velvet and gold embroidered top. And I think I found the style name. And it's called the Olena type top, which is a size 3X. So I'm excited for that to have a plus size. I am going to list it on eBay first because I saw some solds over there for over $100. Some now are listed for $200. But I think that um, a few are new with tags. And so really they are just kind of have listings all over the place. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I've looked it over and I think it's in excellent condition. Um, only thing is like maybe under the arms, you know, where it rubs together. It just looks a little different, but really velvet just kind of does that anyways, the way it hangs. So I'm super excited about this find. It was $5. Um, I think they thought it was a dress. It was hanging with the dresses and it just kind of was sticking out. And I thought, what is this? Had no idea it was Johnny was, but as soon as I saw this tag, I knew. So yeah, that made my day. <laughs>
Um, this is another plus size piece, and this is just an Ann Taylor top, and I got this in a fill -a bag uh, sale. So probably paid pennies for it because I got something for my niece, and then I put this in like a plus size skirt. This is a 18. So I don't know how that'll do, but I won't sell it for very much, less than 20. This also is a cool find. I think I got this the same day I got the Vince at the Salvation Army, I want to say. 11 Z's, but I thought this was really, really cool. It's like, it's not a cardigan, and it's not a vest. It's somewhere in between, but it's belted. It's long. Um, it is a size small, and I just loved it. I think it's great for layering, and um, I hope I can do justice for this with pictures. Maybe I can find the stock photo, because even showing you on camera, it's not coming across as cool as it is. But I love the raw hem, like around the edges and stuff. So I don't know. I'm hoping for around 40 for that. I would be excited to get 40. This is, um, I picked this up because I just loved it. And there, there were only a couple of comps, and one was meh, it was okay. The other was good. I think the print is beautiful. It has hummingbirds on it. The color is beautiful. It's great for spring. It's called Carly for Twiggy London. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a 2X, which is another reason I, I went ahead and picked it up. So even if I only get 25 or 30, I'm hoping 30. <laughs> Um, I paid $2.99 for it, and I think it's just gorgeous, so I don't know. I hope it does well. I do have a few plus sizes I'm kind of excited about. This is also a plus size. It says 3X, Betsy Johnson, but maybe it's more of a fitted style. It doesn't seem like uh, maybe a 3X to me. But it is a high-low, and it has this fun school print, which you can see it's kind of like a velvet um, burnout look. But... I, I love Bessie Johnson stuff, and I know it doesn't sell for a whole lot, so maybe they'll bundle it with something since I'm getting more plus-size pieces. Hopefully. I just thought it was cute. It was only $2. This was also the fill-a-bag sale, um, and I got it only because it was fill-a-bag. And it's um, 16W, and it's just a basic A-line skirt from the Dress Barn. Nothing fancy, but literally probably paid a quarter, so if I get 15 out of it, that will be totally fine. But again, I was just really had bundle in my head, like items to bundle. <laughs> okay, sorry, my son is being really loud. He's excited about something. I paid $7.99 for this, but it is a Kate Spade, and I don't know why it's written in, but um, it's a Kate Spade, if you can see. And I always love the little quotes that says, look for the silver lining. And it's a size four, and it's just this really pretty like I don't know if you would call that crochet but um and I don't know if anyone ever wore it because it still has the covering over the zipper the like paper of the zipper so I don't think it's ever been worn and I think it's just really cool and I love the bow detail I just love Kate Spade so of course I was not gonna leave this behind eight dollars or not um I think somebody will like it I hope to get fifty dollars out of it yeah. uh, I also picked this up the other day um when my family went with me and I only got a few things so I got a few good things it's Lily Pulitzer it is a size 6 and I thought this would be perfect for Easter I love the kind of lace detail over the bright colors and you know what I think I sold both of my Lily Pulitzer pieces on eBay and sold for very good money I was surprised I thought they were gonna sell on Poshmark and they sold actually on eBay. So I'll list it there first and see how fast it sells. And if it, it stays for a week, then I'll list it over on Poshmark. But I just think it's gorgeous. And I think someone's going to love this. Look at the back. The cutout. Um, I don't know the style name on this. I'm going to have to look some more. I, I looked for a second. I couldn't find it. So I'm hoping for around 40 to 50 on that one. Here is another pretty summer, spring possibly Easter dress. I picked this up. It is silk, I believe. Um, Southern Tide. It is an extra large, so I was glad that it was a larger size. Southern Tide, I've only picked up their shorts, um, but I did see some of these listed for and sold for about $35, so I hope to get that. Anyways, it's very pretty, and it has a really nice detail around the top. Um, so yeah, I hope that this, you know, 
sells pretty quick for Easter or something like that, around 35 This I just thought was cute, and I know this is an old tag cabbie, and I have sold some cabbies, so I'm hoping this one will sell. It's a small, and it was only a dollar because they were clearancing stuff out. Um, anything sweater light was clearance out, so, but it is a sleeveless sweater, which I've never really understood because if it's hot enough to go sleeveless, then why are you wearing a sweater? But it is really pretty, and I actually, I would probably wear this in the spring. So I thought this would be cute with some shorts and stuff. Um, so I'm going to try it out and see. I don't know how much that will go for, but hopefully around 20 Okay, this is a dress I got at the, um, what do you call it? Plato's Closet, 90% off. So I paid 80 cents for this. It's the Lilka brand, so Anthropology. Otherwise, if it wasn't 80 cents, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. It's a small, um, but it's a really pretty teal color. So, you know, a great little dress for spring. And since I only paid 80 cents for it, it gives me some leeway. Um, definitely in kind of an oversized drapey look. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can get around 25 for it. But like I said, since I only paid a little bit, um, I have some wiggle room like that. All right, here is um, something I've never picked up before, but actually I did pick up a jacket with this. It's Joseph Ripkoff. I paid $4 for these. I don't know if these are like vintage or what. There's a little hang tag on there, but they're this fun paisley print and they're kind of a wide leg fun pattern. And honestly, it's a size 12. Some sold already for like 85 and some were listed for over 100. I don't know that this is going to be a quick sale, but I'm hoping it is a good sale. So I'm going to try it out and see. Um, for $4, I thought, why not? We'll give it a shot. I also got some other stuff that I've never picked up before. Now you might be like, Christy, what is it that you're doing here? But this is a vintage, if you can see, it's very vintage and I have no idea if it's good, but it is St. John. And I looked up on eBay, I did look up comps, and there are some that go upwards to over 100. Maybe I'll get 75 to 100 and something, I don't know. But it is a set, it is vintage, and it was marked $10, but everything was half off that was over a dollar, so I only paid $5 for it. Um, it's got a skirt and a jacket. So I have a suit here. The only thing I've seen is that this button here is chipped um, on the sleeve. Everything else seems to be in, in good condition. So I'm going to keep looking on eBay and try to make a decision on price. But um, we're going to see. Probably not going to sell fast, but maybe it'll sell for a good amount. This is also a vintage St. John's piece. And I just, I don't know. This, I saw some dresses, vintage dresses like this that went for over a hundred bucks. The dresses go for a little more. So it's that, that, what is it called? Sub knit? I can't remember. Some kind of knit um, that's really popular with their pieces. This has got shoulder pads. One of them is detached. So I'm going to have to, you know, disclose that in the listing. But this would be really fun. And it is sweater material. So I don't know if it's going to sell for a while because it is um, coming up on spring. But nonetheless, I wasn't going to leave this behind, and I think I paid, oh my goodness, uh, dresses might be six, and I paid half, so $3 for this. So I was like, of course I'm going to pick that up for $3, and it's a size 10. I think the other is a size 10 as well. Yeah, so had to be the same person. I got it at the same place. So kind of excited, but also a little not sure about this St. John's, but I'm going to try it anyways. Okay. So, men's clothing and then shoes. Let's just do that. Okay, I've got this shirt here. And the reason I picked it up, because it was only $2. It is Vineyard Vines, and it is a great color for Easter and spring. And it is a medium, so it is a little bit small. But I think because of the, the pretty plaid and the colors that it will do pretty good. Um, and it was only $2. And then I got this Untuck It shirt, which thanks to a lot of Josh, I know about this brand, but, um, yeah, it's just a basic white. It feels really nice, like a good, thick quality shirt. Um, 
and uh, I mean great every, every man needs one so I grabbed that it is a large so I'm hoping to get around 30 for that thanks again Josh for um, telling me about that brand I also have these here and I picked this up also because a lot of Josh <laughs> um, told us about uh, Men's polos, I think, are oversaturated, but this one is a 3X tall, so 3XL tall, and so I'm hoping to get around 30, 35 for this one, and again, the color is great for Easter and for spring, so I just need to steam that and get that one listed, and then another one that I think will be also great for spring, and I don't remember comps for this one, but I did look it up, it is Etro. I think is how you say that. Um, so it is a good brand. Um, so hopefully this one has the same like $30, $35 range. Um, I also picked up some men's suit coats. So let me move that back. This here, I just thought this was really, really cool. It's actually a Zegna. So the same as the, the tie I showed you in my other haul. But um, the thing about this one that I thought was really, really cool is it's got this kind of linen over a plaid. So you can see the plaid is there, but when they put this like navy linen over top, it kind of gives it this look. I just thought that was just a cool piece, and I think it's good for spring. Um, I, I just loved it, and um, yeah, it's called the 3D Jacket, and I hope it, I can get around $40 for it. Um, I want to say I paid around five or six is what their, their suit coats are. This one I did pay more. They had this marked at $10. So I paid up for this one, but I checked comps and there were some 60 to $80. So I guess it really just depends, but it is spring and it is linen. It has these cool gold buttons and um, it is Vince. So you can see there. So extra, extra large and does it say tall? I think it even says tall. So I think it's going to do well. I'm going to price it a higher and then as the season goes on, if it hasn't sold, I'll mark it down. But um, they all need a good steam. And I might even take these to the dry cleaners and let them do it for me. So we'll see. But I thought that was great. I also picked this one up. It does need steaming. But this is Paul Fredericks. And, and the, honestly, I, I didn't know about a lot. I didn't, of course, I've heard of Vince and I've heard of uh, Zegna. M, it starts with an E, the first name. But I've heard of that because of the ties. But this one I haven't heard of. I just went through them and looked them up. So I looked up anything that looked like quality just to kind of learn about it. Um, so anyways, this one is Paul Frederick. And I think the comps were up there on this one, probably around 35 or 40 or more. Or otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it up. But I think it's a navy. No, it's black. I don't know what it is. Is it black or is it navy? My eyes are playing tricks on me. But it has a blue lining, so that's why I thought it was navy. Um, but it's a gray quality. And I think um, what interested me about this one is I saw that it said made in Indonesia and then it was a blend of wool and cashmere. So I thought that's got to be nice and it was. So hopefully that will sell pretty quickly. And then this one wasn't my favorite um, style, although my husband tells me plaids are in and to look for plaid suits and, you know, like jackets and blazers. This one um, may be a more mature audience, but Hickey Freeman which he said that he's heard of, you know, some celebrities wear this, but I don't know. This is kind of more of a taupe plaid. Maybe it's good for spring. It is a bigger size, so hopefully I can get around 40 for that. So those are the suit jackets I got. I grabbed this tie here, and it's just, um, I liked the blues. This is my favorite color, so I've drawn to all blue, but it's just a Donald Trump tie. It was in good condition, so I thought I would pick it up. Some of his ties go for a little bit more, and um, some probably don't sell well at all. But I thought I'd give that one a try. So hopefully around $20, I probably paid a dollar for it. And then I grabbed this belt. It was a $1.99, but I thought it was kind of cool. It's um, genuine leather, and it's fossil. 
but it's got a neat kind of patchwork design going around it. So, you know, we'll see. Kind of a boho look. We'll see how that does. Here's this cute purse. Now, I couldn't find comps on this, although I did see one listed for around $60. I'm not sure I'd get that. Um, the strap has a little bit of wear there. It's just a braided strap, so yeah, um, I'll have to show that, but it's so cool. It's like a beaded, just a <laughs> little purse. I paid $2.99 for it, but it is a uh, Bob Mackie. Can you see that in there? Um, I think your phone would fit in there. Maybe, maybe not. It depends on what phone you have. But I just thought it would be really cool for a night out. It's just a little, you know, evening purse. I don't know if it would go for $60, but if I could sell it for $30 or $40, I would be really excited. Hope for more, but this was not a good buy. I, they were closing, and I was in a hurry, and I just kind of grabbed it. Um, but it's cute. It's Valerie Stevens. It's not worth a lot. Uh, so I paid $2.99 for this as well. But the, both beaded purses were there. Not that they were cool, so I got them. It does have a long strap. Probably won't get a lot for this one, so I'm not sure. Um, but maybe $20. Okay, I've got some shoes to show you. Some more shoes, I guess you should say. I grabbed these Nikes. Um, these, I, I just know white are popular right now. And so I thought these would do well. And if they were my size, I would be keeping them. But they're a size 9. I did wash them, but they do need magic eraser on like the toes. But I think that these will do really well considering it's spring coming. Um, this pair here. Like, I picked these solely based off the fact that all my students are wearing Champion and kind of flipped out about Champion right now. And they're in brand new condition. Look like they were worn a couple times. I did pay $6 for them. They're seven and a half. I don't know what they're going to go for. I'm literally just going to test it out. But I'm hoping because I see a lot of my high school kids wearing them um, that they'll do well. They're not showing up very good, but they're great condition. We shall see. I got some men's shoes as well. These are Keen's tennis shoes and I think these um, was marked six dollars. So I don't know if I got these on sale or not but um, nonetheless I think that some of these go for around thirty thirty five dollars so I'm hoping the higher end of those but they're just men's sneakers. And then I also picked up these. These are Tiva. And then I also have seen these sell and um, for around 30 or 35 um, And they were $5. And I know that I got these like 20% off. So I wanted to grab those and test those out. These little flats are Michael Kors. And they won't go for a whole lot. But I think they'll be a good sale because they are a great neutral color. And I think they're a six and a half, and they're pretty good. Just a little bit of wear on like the toes. Other than that, they seem to be in um, great shape. So hopefully around thirty for those. These I also picked up, and I paid two or three for these at the Salvation Army, and they're also Kings. I've never seen anything like this before, but the color, you know, um, is my favorite. So I was drawn to them, but they're just like a I don't know, like a loafer or a Mary Jane's like sneaker. I don't know. They're canvas. Hopefully they'll sell for around 30. Um, yeah, I think they're cute. I got these beautiful pumps um, yesterday and um, they were only $4 and I know some people are not picking up Stuart Weitzman anymore, but look, hold on. Look how good they are. I mean, they're scuffing there, but look, the hill has like nothing. They're a black suede. I saw some sold for over a hundred dollars and some for around 85. And I believe it was Megan Markle. I think she wore them. And so of course, um, they're popular because of her, but maybe not the specific style, but I just, I think they'll do well. Um, they are suede. So I don't know about this season, but I thought, you know, I picked these up kind of blindly, 
because they were only $4 and they were in great condition. I know the brand is good. I know people have said it doesn't sell as well, but um, I went ahead and just grabbed them without looking them up. And then when I got home and looked them up, I was super excited. Well, that is it for my haul. I am going to do another one for a huge bag. Probably just alone because it's going to be too long to add it into this video. But literally, they had a 99 cent sale at Goodwill on all jackets. And you should see what I got. Um, so hopefully, tune in for that. It'll be great to kind of see what all I've got. Um, some of it's for myself, some of it's to sell, some of it's for my kids. But nonetheless, it should be interesting to go through. I couldn't believe the whole store Goodwill put everything 99 cents. I probably could have bought more. Um, but I was running out of time. I had somebody else with me. So this is what I ended up with. But again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'd love you to check out my other haul video, my part one, and then my part three. <laughs> that will happen later. So again, thank you and happy thrifting.